back to another episode of Life Changers. And once again, I am Mike. Um, so this episode is called Choose to Make Life Easy. Uh, it's that easy. So that's the end of this video. And please check back. <laughs> but it really is that easy. And some people ask me, like, does it come that easy to you? Like, it just, you know, like, they ask me a lot of questions about how easy is it, is it difficult? Um, you know, with all the information in the world that everybody knows and has, like everything, you know, I know a lot about law of attraction. I'm testing it through the ringer because I'm like to test things for myself and make it work for me. Or as some people call it, like hacking the matrix, find the hack codes and let's use it to your advantage. Even though we know how to do it, what to do, there's always blockages and things that are stopping you, which is, well, huh, news to say you, um, or the environment we put ourselves in with, um, you know, being on the Facebook or being on YouTube or TikTok or whatever and not doing what we're supposed to be doing. In the end, the only person that could sabotage you is you. The only person that could have you see doom and gloom or be sad is you deciding to accept all that negativity energy in. So for me, I just choose to be happy. Happy go lucky, an optimist. I know we talk about it many times and we're always gonna loop back and forth. But as I learn things and experience things and interact with people, especially as these episodes start coming out, um, I'll be able to give you more information as we go and get new ideas. But yeah, you just literally gotta make the choice to make life easy. Um, and. I have a mantra. I know we talked about it once before, but whoever seen Lion King, it's Hakuna Matata. You know that song? Means no worries. I'm not going to start singing it because then everybody's going to leave. <laughs> but that's literally my mantra. Like, I was sitting by a fire with a bunch of people. We're all talking, and I was talking about the law of attraction, things that I've done doing and that I realized, which is like, just give up. Just <laughs> for lack of a better word, you know, just don't give a crap or just let the universe guide you and just trust and go with it. Stop trying to control things. I find me, I like to try to control things. Um, I always, I don't know, I like to think I can control my business and make it successful. You can't make nothing, nothing. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but the more I try to, to, to get rich or the more I try to, be successful or make my company just blow up the more it backfires because like i'm pushing too hard and the universe is like hey <laughs> you don't trust me man i already i'm already hooking you up and now you're pushing me and you're yelling at me all the time like hey <laughs> but yeah just akuna matata man <laughs> relax calm down i literally for the last, like, since the last episode, you heard me ranting a bit about, like, tr pushing so hard, and then I noticed sales are going down, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm so scared. I should run, flee, go get back a job in a career so I can be six and give up on everything that the universe has hooked me up with. But, no, I just relax, calm down. And as I mentioned, I'm starting to get into the meditation. Um, and, yeah, just, I'm just going to stop caring <laughs> you know what it's more like i said it and forget it so as we mentioned in the earlier episodes like my higher self just told me boom this is how it's gonna work this is what you're gonna do set it up and i literally just ran with it and it's been blowing up ever since and then i started trying to control it and then it started to go backwards and so i'm like you know what you know what no i'm gonna set it and forget it i don't whatever i'm Surrender Experiment. Uh, have you guys been reading the book? Anybody? We're reading The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer. But if you have, you'll understand. Just surrender. And as your gut or the universe or whatever you want to call it tells you what to do, just do it. And just choose to make life easy. It's that simple. I know it sounds hard. <laughs> it sounds crazy. But no. You just got to fight with yourself. Like, Every day I'm fighting with myself. It's more, hey, like, calm down, relax, kuna matata, <laughs> just no worries, just be happy, let everything happen organically and let everything happen the way it's supposed to happen and flow. Um, I guess a fun fact is that, like, I've been listening more to the universe and my gut on 
on what we should do next and how I should do things. So I started making TikToks for one of our, the brands I, I created. And this past couple of weeks, it's gone viral, <laughs> which is awesome. Getting like 20,000 plus views to me is like amazing, going from hundreds. Um, have I sold anything more? No. I'm <laughs> but I could see it blowing up to the point where now I'm getting more walk-ins, people calling, people writing and asking questions. And yeah, it's just going to take off. And, and I'll do time. Like whatever i'm just gonna continue um just like here's another example in 2019 i'm just i was hype of my meditations like really like getting in there learning to meditate uh listening to Dr. Joe Dispenza. i'm doing not like meditations where i'm doing it myself just guided meditations like trying to figure it out trying to see what works for me i fall asleep a lot pretty easily when i'm <laughs> meditating so i'm trying to figure out you know, all that stuff. And I've been reading a lot of the the books and putting into action all everything I'm learning. And just sitting there one day and like, hey, I should play with penny stocks. So I just type in Google search there. Doo -doo -doo, top 10 penny stocks for 2019. And then a list comes up. And then three of them just jumped out at me. So I was like, sure, I'll buy them. Boop, 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 boop. I bought a few here and there. And then in 2020... And about, I would say, March 2020, um, the, a lot of them crashed, but who cares? I bought more. I was like, buy more. And I was like, what? Yeah, sure, whatever. So I bought a little bit more. And I, I've been buying these at like 60 cents, 20 cents, you know, penny stocks. You know, that's how cheap I am. <laughs> and needless to say, by late 2020 and 2021, they went up to five bucks, six bucks, three bucks. And I was like, oh, <laughs> And here's the kicker. The universe is like, sell. And I was like, then no, me, self-sabotaging, as we talked about in other episodes, you know, I chose to make life hard for myself. I was like, oh, it's going to hit, it's going to hit $50 a share or it's going to hit $10. And I'm getting all like, oh, I'm going to control the world. And then they crashed. <laughs> but then don't worry, they went back up to like three, four, five dollars again. And then I did the right thing. But. I sold everything, but if I listened the first time, I would have done better. When it crashed, the universe was like, hey, get more. So I would have got more, went up to three or four bucks, sell it again, and just do that. And I would have hit amazing. I would have done really good with these penny stocks here in Canada. And it's not that I'm a professional at this, that I picked the right ones. No. I was literally just bumming around. Just trying to feel the flow of the universe, trying to find my higher self, trying to find my grounding. And it was just popped in. Like my gut, gut feeling or, you know, a little small voice in my head like, hey man, penny stocks. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And so instead of ignoring it, I started going checking it out. And it's like, hey, these three out of the ten are pretty good. Bye, bye, bye. You have a little bit of money here, you know? And I was like, sure. Just go with the flow. Surrender experiment. Just do it. And it did very well. So... There's times where I know I choose to make my life a lot harder than I should. And literally, I'm just fighting with myself. I try to blame my wife. <laughs> it doesn't work too well. But no, the truth is, in the end, it's you and only you that can make your life easy, miserable, or hard. Because like... As you see in the next episode, we're going to talk about perspective. This is, this is my favorite topic about perspective because you, you can, both people could be in the exact same situation and both people will have two totally different outcomes of that situation. One will be really offended, one will not be, or one person will be successful out of it, one person will take it as a kick to the teeth. Like It's just crazy, but it's all about perspective. So I'm going to talk about, a lot about perspective and how to shift your perspective into benefiting you in the next pre episode. So thank you very much for putting up with me and just write some comments below. Uh, any questions, anything you want me to talk about, just go feel free to comment that up and then I'll get those into previous episodes. Thank you very much.